Hey, Bears fans. I'm Derek and welcome to Bears Express. Let's check out all the latest news and happenings in Chicago. Before, if you are not subscribed yet, don't waste time. Subscribe and activate the notifications to receive all Bears news every day. Be the most updated fan. Chicago Bears Justin Fields, a leg up against the Atlanta Falcons defense. Despite the Atlanta Falcons and Chicago Bears enduring lackluster seasons, their upcoming Sunday clash holds a glimmer of hope for both teams in the realm of playoff possibilities. While statistically slim, the chances are not entirely extinguished, prompting an intriguing matchup at Soldier Field. According to NFL.com, the Falcons and Bears face odds of 11% and less than 1%, respectively, to secure a postseason spot. This so, you're saying there's a chance? Sentiment echoes as both teams gear up for a game that holds more than just routine implications. For the Chicago Bears, quarterback Justin Fields emerges as a pivotal figure seeking to alter the playoff landscape. With aspirations of defying the odds, Fields aims to challenge the Falcons' defense using a multifaceted approach, particularly relying on his exceptional running abilities. Fields' impact is underscored by his dynamic running style, a facet that has become increasingly prominent since his return from injury. A flashback to the previous year's encounter against the Falcons reveals Fields running the ball 18 times while attempting just 21 passes, setting the stage for a strategic run-heavy game plan this Sunday. Falcons defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen acknowledges the challenge posed by Fields. Highlighting Fields' ability to extend plays and create opportunities, Nielsen emphasizes the dynamic nature Fields brings to the Bears' offense. The task at hand is to prepare the Falcons for Fields' unpredictability. Simulating Fields' on-field magic during practice becomes a formidable challenge. The broken-down, unscripted plays that Fields orchestrates require a unique preparation approach. Despite the limitations of practice simulations, the Falcons are diligently working to mirror the unpredictable scenarios Fields might create. Nielsen acknowledges the inherent challenge in replicating game scenarios during practice. The Falcons aim to strike a balance, making practice as close to reality as possible. The emphasis is on preparing the team to adapt to the burstiness and perplexity Fields injects into the game. As the Sunday kickoff approaches at Soldier Field, anticipation builds for a game that transcends statistical probabilities. The home advantage for the Bears adds an extra layer of complexity, as the crowd at Soldier Field could become a driving force behind the team's performance. The Bears vs. Falcons matchup goes beyond the playoff probabilities, fueled by the ambition of both teams. Justin Fields' unique playing style adds an element of unpredictability that the Falcons must navigate. Bears Injury Update As the Chicago Bears gear up for a crucial game against the Atlanta Falcons, the team faces significant challenges on the injury front. Here's a breakdown of the latest updates on key players and their availability for the upcoming matchup. One notable absence in Sunday's game will be wide receiver Darnell Mooney, who remains in concussion protocol. The impact of Mooney's absence on the Bears' offensive dynamics adds a layer of complexity to their game plan against the Falcons. Tight end Cole KMET and center Lucas Patrick are listed as questionable due to knee injuries. KMET sustained his injury during last week's victory over the Cardinals, leaving a void in the Bears' tight end position. The potential absence of KMET and Patrick raises concerns about the team's offensive line stability. Cole KMET has been a model of consistency for the Bears since entering the league in 2020. Having not missed a game in his NFL career, KMET's availability has been a cornerstone of his contributions to the team. His commitment to being ready for every game reflects the emphasis on availability as a key factor in the NFL. Acknowledging the balance between extending his consecutive game streak and being cautious about his injury, KMET emphasizes the importance of making smart decisions. In a league where players often play through less than optimal conditions, KMET's determination to contribute while being mindful of his health is a testament to the challenges NFL athletes face. Coach Matt Eberfluss provides a positive outlook on Cole KMET's availability, indicating encouraging signs for the tight end's participation in the upcoming game. Eberfluss also expresses optimism about Lucas Patrick's readiness, providing a potential boost to the Bears' offensive line. On a brighter note, three key Bears players are set to make their return. Left guard Tevin Jenkins, wide receiver Equinemius St. Brown, and linebacker Noah Sewell have been full participants in practice throughout the week. Their return adds depth and strength to the Bears' lineup, especially in positions where injuries have taken a toll. As the Bears navigate the challenges of injuries, the team faces a crucial test against the Falcons. The absence of Darnell Mooney and the questionable status of Cole KMET and Lucas Patrick create uncertainties, but the potential return of other key players injects optimism. The game against the Falcons will not only be a test of skill but also a testament to the team's resilience amid adversities. Eddie Jackson faces uncertainty as Bears host Falcons. As the Chicago Bears prepare for a crucial matchup against the Atlanta Falcons, safety Eddie Jackson finds himself in a unique situation. With the possibility of Sunday's game being his last home appearance with the Bears, 
Jackson reflects on the complexities brought about by the NFL salary cap. Living for the moment, Jackson acknowledges the uncertainties surrounding his future with the Bears. The looming $18.1 million cap cost for the final year of his contract in 2024 adds a layer of complexity to his potential continuation with the team. The last three seasons have presented challenges for Jackson, with injuries affecting his playing time. Despite a foot injury last year and another one in week two of this season, Jackson's commitment to returning to the field demonstrates his resilience. Pro Football Focus Evaluation provides insights into his performance compared to previous standout seasons. Bears coach Matt Eberfluss praises Jackson's contributions, highlighting his exceptional year before the recent injury. Eberfluss acknowledges the difficulties Jackson faced in making a comeback this season and emphasizes his consistent and solid performance. For Jackson, being part of the Bears has been a seven-year journey filled with rich tradition and history. From making impactful plays to mentoring young talents, Jackson values the relationships built within the organization. He emphasizes the family-oriented nature of the Bears, expressing deep gratitude for the experience. Jackson's role in mentoring young defensive backs has been crucial to the Bears' success. His communication skills and ability to anticipate plays contribute to the secondary's rise, leading to a notable number of interceptions. Comparisons with other veteran players in the league highlight age as a potential factor in Jackson's career trajectory. While the uncertainty with the Bears looms, Jackson's talent and experience suggest he may continue making valuable contributions elsewhere in the league. Jackson acknowledges the unpredictable nature of the business side of football. Expressing gratitude for his time with the Bears, he remains optimistic about the future, embracing the remaining guaranteed two games as a Chicago Bear. Assessing candidates to replace Luke Gitsey as Bears offensive coordinator. As the Chicago Bears approach what could be Justin Fields' last home game and potentially Luke Gitsey's final game as offensive coordinator, questions loom about the team's offensive direction. Bears fans engage in speculation, debating who bears responsibility for Justin Fields' challenges. The possibility of drafting a new quarterback adds complexity to the decision-making process. Ryan Poles and the coaching staff find themselves in a dilemma, considering the direction of the team. The central question emerges, can Luke Gitsey mold a raw prospect into a franchise quarterback? Well, Frank Reich emerges as a potential replacement for Gitsey, bringing a substantial resume in quarterback development. His success stories with Carson Wentz and Nick Foles make him a noteworthy candidate. Brian Greasy, transitioning from ESPN analyst to the 49ers quarterback coach, emerges as a coaching candidate. His influence on Brock Purdy and connections to Kyle Shanahan's coaching tree make him a compelling option. Ken Dorsey's coaching journey, marked by mixed results, positions him as a polarizing option. Evaluating his successes and drawbacks, including guiding Cam Newton, provides insights into his potential as a coach. Clint Kubiak, with ties to the Shanahans, presents an intriguing option. Assessing his success with the Vikings and familiarity with the offensive coordinator role makes him a candidate worth considering. Arguments surface for retaining Luke Getze, emphasizing continuity, a crucial asset for a rookie quarterback. Despite Getze's weaknesses, particularly in situational play calling, there are reasons to maintain stability. To strengthen the coaching staff, suggestions include bringing in a veteran presence. Specific recommendations involve Jim Caldwell in an advisory role and Ken Dorsey as a proven quarterback's coach. The unique dynamics between Fields and Gitsey create a push-pull relationship, illustrated through on-field examples showcasing both challenges and successes. Speculation arises about the Bears' inevitable decision to move on from Justin Fields, given the allure of the first overall pick and the potential talent available. The Chicago Bears stand at a crossroads, with decisions looming on the horizon. The fate of Luke Gitsey, the quarterback position, and the overall offensive strategy are critical components that will shape the team's future. Don't forget to leave your analysis in the comments about what you think of the latest news. Remember to leave your like and subscribe to our channel. Be another member of our community. Receive exclusive content every day. We make it a priority to let you know everything that happens in Chicago. See you later.